Hello, hello, this is Uchwal and I'm so glad and excited to be back here today showing you my DT kit. Uh, we took a break of two months uh, from our design team posts because of the COVID-19 situation and we did not order our DT kit as well for the month of Ju uh, May and June. But I now have my July kit and I'm so excited to show you because I ordered so many pretty things. Well, everything from Dress My Craft is really pretty. so yeah let's get started so of course i got a lot of paper packs this first one is called floral symphony and it has this very delicate color palette of um purple blue pink and bits of yellow and i just absolutely love it it's so stunning and so soft and pretty so i prefer buying collections because uh, it gives you more value for your money uh, plus you have everything coordinated which you would buy anyway um anyway too so i just prefer to get the collections so this next one is called romantic roses and again a very beautiful romantic collection with roses and um again a very beautiful color palette of pink maroon uh, greens very beautiful very stunning and you can see i absolutely love those wood grain papers in between so yeah another one of the very popular collections are from Dress My Craft. Next, I got this 6x6 six six, uh, paper pack for, from Be Mine collection. I have an incomplete project and I just uh, wanted some, I ran out of papers and thought I'll just get a paper collection, smaller one and finish that project. So the next collection I got is this one called Dots and Stripes, I think yes and this is again a very basic collection with the a watercolor look to the papers and soft palette you have multiple different colors and you can actually coordinate this with different pattern papers so like if you run out of papers from one collection you can coordinate uh, papers from this Dotson's type collection with your other paper packs as well so this is like a general neutral collection that you can use and mix and match with other papers um, but it also comes uh, with a motif sheet as well so you can see a lot of butterflies and florals i also got this sheet from the vintage saga collection because uh, again i have an incomplete project and then i got some stencils again a big fan of uh, stencils from dress my craft next is this corner crunch again i haven't used uh, any slotted corner punch till now so I was very excited to get that then I got some accessories a perforating pad and uh, some of the uh, shaker slices so these are like very sweet cupcakes uh, there is an, a popsicle one and then there is a clouds one so it has the rainbow clouds and they're so adorable very adorable so I have projects coming up with these um, in the next month and they always challenge me because I, they're so pretty, they're so cute, but I always struggle with, you know, how to use them on projects. So I hope I can come up with some great ideas using this and show you how cute they are. And I think that is all, that is all I got. Um, and uh, yeah, so paper packs, which are my absolute favorite from Dress My Craft, the quality, the prints, the colors, um, they are just fabulous so yes i've been creating a lot with these papers i got some punches then i got some accessories like sequins uh sorry the shaker slices and some twine and then some sentimentals i also got some tools like the uh, punches and the perforating uh, pad and then i have the stencils so of course i have a giveaway i will be giving away this beautiful stencil it's called distressed blocks i think i'm not too too sure of the name but uh giving away the stencil make sure you comment on this video you are a subscriber of my youtube channel and follow me on instagram as well as on facebook and i will pick a winner pretty soon so yeah thank you so much for watching today and have a great day